Shut up and sit down. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe. So, this is an update on my canopy. So far, I'm really impressed with it. It's working well. I've made a few adaptations, and that's what I'm going to talk to you today in this video. Um, and I'm going to show you what I did and how I did it. Uh, the first thing I did was I lowered it a bit because it was about 8 inches too high. And the way I did that was by resizing the tent poles. Two of them, to be precise. So I resized the tent poles and I did it like this. This is what you're going to need to shorten the canopy. Cut the uh, tent poles down to uh, an appropriate size so it doesn't tower over your head and it gives you more shade. You're going to need a hacksaw. You're going to need your tent poles, obviously and you're gonna need two vice clamps and you're gonna need a pair of scissors. That's all you're gonna need. This piece has already been cut off, but the way I did it was uh, actually pretty simple. I just pulled this out, just like that, as far as I could. Took a pair of vice clamps, got it on the string. It's an elastic string, put it there. So now that string is not going back in. And then you pop this guy out, lower that in there, and you've got a knot here. Well, I'm not going to untie it. So what you do is you untie this. You got this little cap here that it ties that it loops around. You untie it. You pull this off. Then you uh, measure how much you want to cut. Take a simple hacksaw, cut it down. Slip this back over. You cut this. Obviously, you're going to have to cut the string. That's what you use the scissors for. But you're going to want to. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to uh, clip that. And you're going to want to refeed that, tie it through, unclip it, and then uh, feed the string back through. Just like that. Feed that in. Then you uh, take this off. Repeat that times two for both sides. And you've got a shorter canopy that comes closer to your head instead of uh, 12 inches above it. And then, because I resized the tent poles, it brought them a little closer together, so the PVC that holds my uh, tail lights had to be cut about an inch and a half shorter. Otherwise, it would be uh, up in the fabric and you wouldn't see the tail lights very well. And then the last set of hacks or adaptations I've made for the, uh, the front bungee. I got rid of it all together. I replaced it with paracord, so now there's no stretch. So this is the paracord. I got it hooked to a, a little, just a little clip. You can pick both these up at Home Depot. I've got a uh, jack shank knot, also known as a hangman's knot. It runs all the way down. Got another one of those clips, another jack shank knot. And then I've got an eye bolt hooked to another one of these electrical conduit attachments that I used on the uh, brass portion of the build. And all this is is the uh, looped eye bolt with two nuts clamping it to that, a piece of rubber, and the, uh, the conduit hanger. And it, it's really simple. I painted it purple to match the strike. It's not quite the same shade of purple, but it still looks good. So this is how you tie a jack shank or a hangman's knot. You make two loops, just like that. And then you, uh, you loop it around. So that's three, four, five. Now you either want to stop at five or you want to go past eight simply because of the history of the hangman's knot. Seven, eight, nine. Then you want to thread that through what's left of the top loop. Just like that. And then you pull. And there you go. You've got a uh, really strong, one of the strongest knots out there. That's not coming loose. 
So you're gonna have frayed edges when you cut one of these ropes. And what you wanna do is you wanna get the frays as small as you can. Then you take a lighter or heat gun and you just melt it. Nice clean edge. Well, I've had it up to uh, just over 32 miles an hour today in the shot that you see right here. I had it up to 25 miles an hour and there was no rise up, there was no noticeable or serious wobble. It was, uh, it's very stable. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you found the information useful. If you did, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. I've got more follow-up videos coming up for the pedals and a few other things. I also have a video coming up that's going to show you how to build a battery welder so that you can fix your electric batteries for your, uh, for your bikes. Um, out of free to really cheap, simple to find parts. So if you like that idea, if you want to see my other follow-up videos, um, I'm going to be doing my Erie Canal tour in a couple of weeks. So if you want to see that, Erie Canal is a beautiful place. Um, that's going to be about eight days, a little over 400 miles. I'm going to go into Canada, then I'm going to make it all the way to uh, Albany. Um, so uh, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff coming up. Like, follow, share, and please click that subscribe button. Have a great day. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.